We have internet tonight. Yay. Lighting, <laughs> illumination, a game-ish, sort of. Folks, welcome to a special, not so special edition of Murder Hobo Inc. on Sunday night. Uh, for any of you who tuned in last night or noticed that our show was missing from the stream, it is because Mother Nature is a bitch and she wiped out our power here. Uh, but uh, we have made arrangements just for you. Just for you. Because we care uh to do a show tonight do a show tomorrow with the other two because chris can't make it because canada's snowed in uh and then on tuesday uh do our regular uh murder hobo ink between the rolls kind of talk show classy thing follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy some shit it's right below me uh you can do this you can do what carol's got on Carol designed that one, so don't buy that one. <laughs> uh, it actually it's, is multicolored, by the way. There's two uh, colors, and there's a, oh. like others. Blake's shirt is know. not Murder Hobo. I'm, I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing my Jack Daniels jersey this morning. The, or your uh, what is uh, Don uh, oh, Julio? I, 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 I drink and I know things. Hashtag Don Julio. Uh, uh, oh, by, and by the way, welcome Carol as a permanent fixture. Yeah, dis despite uh, a vote of five to zero to not let her in, uh, she keeps showing up. So, fuck it. She's going to be our permanent fifth member uh, until she dies tonight because uh, the <laughs> war elephant uh, is going to excrete her. Uh, tonight, we're, what we're going to do is, uh, since the campaign is so messed up, I have decided upon myself uh, and acquiesce the power uh, to say, fuck you guys. Let's get your heads on straight. We are going to do time jumps for everything. it's right on track. I mean, and it's, it'll kill less civilians, I think. So <laughs> these, these two are going to make it through one month, two months, and three months. Tomorrow night, Kyle and Ernest will be making it through their first second and third month the problem being with their expeditious retreat out of fink they're wanted wanted fucking criminals everybody wants a piece of their ass uh and taron oh, was originally su released. suspected criminals suspect i, I there's never no convicted <laughs> never convicted uh taron uh was released from her interrogation uh it worked perhaps uh her departure coincides with chaos in the plaza of think she turns so she's one in the box they want to talk to her again <laughs> they just want to talk to me it's not they're out from my head probably not there's just a rope rope and a platform i mean i can think of a certain world she talked she talked to, she talked to the cops you got to kill her <laughs> I, snitches get stitches, Carol. Well, yeah, but for the record, I also pretty sure that there's a certain warlord's life that wife that would absolutely love to see my head on the platter. That could be. Uh, <laughs> so, how I, did these guys get here, folks? I'll let you tell them. We'll start with Blake. Blake, who are you? Who you playing? And what the hell? How did you get out of Fink? Uh, I am uh, going to be reprising Perpetua, except a Perpetua, as you typically know her, probably won't be seen this evening. Uh, I uh, escaped Fink after winning the poker tournament uh, and uh, collecting my winnings, uh, collecting my things, minus the box. Someone stole my box. And then I just dimension doored out of there. Bam. Outside the walls to the east, I believe, correct? Uh, to the, uh, if, 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 up was, if, up, if up was south, it was to the west. That's correct. You are correct. Uh, also, check your private chat. Yeah, I, I see it. Gotcha. Next up is Taryn. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? And how did you get out of Fink? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to say this. So, hi, everybody. I'm Carol. This is my first official night of being a new permanent member of the campaign. <laughs> we'll see if I don't die. Hopefully I won't die in the first session, official session. Uh, my dice rolls have been very questionable all day today because I just got done with another game. Um, I'm, of course, playing Cheating on us. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's only cheating on you when uh, the game coincided with Murder Hobo Wink. And Fair thanks enough. to my friends 
on Saturday night for changing the schedule. So they now go earlier. So I can now play. And thanks to Frank for including me. I know adding people sometimes can be a, well, I know GMs who don't like doing it. So Kids don't do drugs. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they're thanking Frank too for taking you off their hands. No, no, you don't understand. I still play. It's just that the game ends up right before this one. So we just moved time slots. They did not want they didn't want me to go away. And I didn't want to make a decision. And they were like, okay, we'll we'll go earlier, which I thought was really, really nice of them. They didn't if one person had said no, I would have been back to her. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, but but anyways, back to this. So yeah, I'm playing Taryn, or otherwise known as Taranilia Alindriel Amantaro, uh, Wit Elf Bard, who got away from Fink. Now the way, since I actually wasn't here when that all happened, uh, we came up with after that, I would have been probably blown 60 feet somewhere into a wall uh, from the uh, the dragon's breath. That, that's, uh, that's, no. what Jesse, no. Je that's what Jesse named his elephant, was wall. <laughs> Nah, -uh, nah, uh, 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 no elephant's anus. I just got blown into a wall. Nobody mentioned elephant's anus, but you. I, I don't know what kind <laughs> of sick game you think we're running here. Okay, I, I was putting my pen away. Yeah, bullshit <laughs> or elephant shit. Um, so, anyways, uh, then she would have cast um, greater invisibility and made her way out hopefully under, under the noses of the guards and would have headed west because there's reasons why she does not want to go due south and east. Which and we will discover tonight. Unless horrible. she dies. Might die. Let's not hope. Let's hope not. Okay, folks. I have come up with a multitude of scenarios for these individuals. Uh, we're trying to get one per month for these guys. Uh, as I stated before, they're going to be wanted felons. Uh, and a little bit more on that is going to be explained here in a few minutes. Uh, these guys <laughs> are in deep shit trouble. They're separated, uh, wanted. They're going to have to avoid uh, some communities, and we'll see how they do. Uh, according to roles randomly done by these guys earlier, we are going to start with Carol. Oh, Carol, boy. Give me a perception check as you jump over the wall at Fink and run like hell. I am so nervous because said my dice rolls have been shite. Yeah, and they still are. That's only a six. But I'm probably still invisible. You are still invisible, uh, and that's fine. Uh, you have a couple of choices here. You can go west back towards Fink Mines. Oh. Straight south uh, across the open land. Or you can try and go east and go into Simon's Hollow. Oh, Lord. That is, that's a great choices. Again, <laughs> terrible group of choices. Now, actually, she oh. did mention another option, and that was to go north. Would you still like to go north? I can't though, and I know the bridge is out. So do you know I, the bridge I, is out? Yeah, because I was there when when a certain <laughs> druid blew it up. So Maybe I it got do, fixed. I do know it's out, um, and I know. And my I didn't realize this when I originally wrote you, but my character would that that's the only bridge from the south to the north. Correct. I do not like any of these. Oh, I don't like any of these choices. I'm gonna. Is it? It's light out or dark? It's light. Uh, it's late. It's late afternoon because uh, Perpetua has already won the poker tournament. I am going. I'm going. I don't want to go to Simon's Hall. I'm just. I'm going to head through the open. Open tundra. Yeah. Very I'm good. So uh, behind you, you hear the cacophony of just a major mess. That damn elephant is apparently still rampaging. <laughs> you can hear guards. <laughs> Uh, nobody is on the other side of the Southern gate because Lord Bushmill did go ahead and order it to be shut and sealed during the poker game. Now with a rampaging elephant, it's still shut and locked. Uh, no one has spotted you fortunately. Oh, God. You make your run, uh, for open ground, noting that to the right was Fink Meadows and a whole bunch of zombies and to the left 
are people who would rather have your head on a spike. Yep. So running full tilt, yep. give me another perception check, please. Oh, try a different die. Jesus Christ. They're all, I can't roll above a 10, but with the, I think that is a 10. That's a 10. Okay. To your left, breaking out of the woods that holds Simon Hollow, you hear a loud trumpeting. Like the elephant? Like the military. I keep running. I just keep running. I mean. How long does your invisibility spell last? One minute. <laughs> uh, there is a small copse of trees ahead of you. Uh, you might be able to gain shelter in there. You're going to have to D12 against me, though. Oh, Lord. So it begins. Yeah, it begins. There it has. Eight. Three. You manage to break into the copse of trees as a large contingent of military men, uh, escorted by one individual on a giant black steed, break out of the woods and head right towards Fink. Oh, so they're going the other direction. They're going to think. I'm debating whether or not, what are, so what else is around me right here? I mean, is there more cups of trees close together? Funny you should ask that, because behind you, you hear a small female voice say, Woo, that was close. What? Wait. <laughs> not... As you look left and you look right and you look left and you look right, are you? There's a head bobbing behind you that you just keep catching a glimpse of. Hey, come around. I don't know if I can like do this and you know reach down and go, hey, come around here. You grab a handful of hair from a uh, long braid and Cola, the female halfling that was sitting behind you in the interrogation, <laughs> is standing there. Smacks you with the hand and says, let go of my hair. Where are we going? Oh, I, I just bring you around so I can see your face. Because this is not productive. So what are you doing here? You followed me out? Uh, yeah. Did you see the size of the elephant? I certainly did. Way up close and too personal. I heard you were in its ass. I wasn't in its <laughs> ass. <laughs> hey, so, you know what? Tonight, it won't be an issue. Uh, she says, where are we going? Oh, I don't... Um. My options probably, I'm thinking of heading west. Yeah. Getting go. south and then going west towards, I don't remember the name of the town. Uh, Carol does not remember the name of the town. You're talking and, and to Bork? Just for clarification, is this the port town that you and I had discussed as well? No? Okay. Are I'm you talking away, uh, Rourke or Yaddle? Yaddle. Okay, you're going to head Yaddle? West as I could go. Cola points and, out that eh, I've been to Yaddle. It's not too bad a place. They have good wine there. How big a place is it? It's almost a thousand people. It's a bustling nerve center. Oh, is it? Wait, is that in your world? Is that considered a large city or large town? That, it's a large town. Mm -hmm. The largest place oh, on this isle or this land is going to be Fulton. We will head that way. Maybe there they'll be small town near there that I could stay at instead of that. Because, I mean, basically all is the places on the map. So Fair enough. Uh, we'll switch up to Perpetua. Perpetua, you dimension doored outside the walls onto the west side of Fink. Where do you go from there? You may go north or south. Uh, we, we had established that I'm going to try to go to the nearest port town, which I thought was southwest. Yaddle, correct. Okay. Yeah, oh, that, that is the direction I'm headed. Fair enough. Uh, as you are, are you running across the land? No, I'm casually strolling. I, I am currently, uh, I have the appearance of one of the uh, older, older children of the village that we shat all over. Ah, memories. <laughs> Uh, are you going to hug the tree, li tree line or go out into the open? Uh, I don't think that I have any reason to try and be shady about what I'm doing. I'm just 
trying to get from A to B. And I, I, I wouldn't assume that anyone would be able to. I will remind you that a dragon is soaring overhead. Hey, what um, of, I have Overhead of Fink. Yes, but it's taken the long strike distance, so it's figure eighting over the area. But hey, I, 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 I'm not taking an accelerated pace. I'm not trying to necessarily hide. I don't. I I wouldn't get too far away from some sort of cover, but I'm not going to be bobbing into, into the trees now. Fair enough, Carol. What were you saying? Sorry, what color was the dragon? I am very. I'm just curious. Is it bronze? In the daylight, the dragon is bronze. <laughs> I knew it. Ah, uh, Perpetua, as you go ahead and not particularly hug the line, you notice the uh, dead body of the goblins that you guys killed on your way to the shortcut of Fink. <coughs> uh, you also, because you had the goblin encounter. Now, keeping in mind, uh, there are still zombie miners out there. Just, just to remind you of that. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be trying to interact with anyone on the way. I'm, I'm Fair enough. Uh, as you go down the road, uh, you see three zombies shambling about. They all look like miners. Uh, I am certain they're zombies. Pretty sure. I they're, don't still, like, they're still I, about I don't 120 like away. I don't like those odds. Okay. You're uh, going to take the long way around? I, I don't see why not. They are directly ahead of you, so you can go east or west around them. Uh, what? How far out of my way would that put me? Yeah, you could probably just do 60, 80, maybe 100 feet. Just go ahead and skirt them. Okay, and what's to the east and what's to the west? Just open. To the east open. is open land. To the west, uh, sparse woodlands. Uh, you've been this way before because it took you right to the Fink Mines. Okay, okay. Uh, and you know that I if don't... you go to the coastline and walk down, you can't miss Yaddle. Uh, I, I would want to try and head towards the coast because that way I only have to pay attention for assholes coming from three sides of me. Fair enough. Uh, as you break in there, uh, an hour passes or so, and you come up to uh, a circus wagon, for lack of a better term, or a gypsy wagon, uh, in the middle of the wooded hills. You surmise you're a good quarter mile, half mile away from Fink Meadows. Uh, can I get a perception check to hear if it's occupied? Sure. Uh, with a, I think that's a 21. Uh, yeah. You hear concertina music playing from inside and a very off key female voice, uh, singing some kind of dirge. Older or younger? Can't really tell at this point. You just know that they're a really shitty singer. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would like to, uh, are there windows to this carriage? Uh, yes, they're quite high, though. Okay. So the wheels I, are about four and a half feet uh, diameter. Okay. Uh, I want to try to stay out of view of it, but I want to try and listen to the nature of the dirge. Okay. It apparently laments the loss of a sea captain, is the basic gist of it. Uh, the music then stops. Okay. I'm continuing to listen and and continuing to move, but quietly. So stealth roll? Uh, yeah, you can do a stealth roll. How close are you coming to this thing? Uh, how close would I have had to come to hear it? I wouldn't. The shrill voice is uh, ear piercing. Okay, so, I, would, I wouldn't have but, gone necessarily any closer than necessary. That's fine. Uh, stealth is 21. You see a old, older lady with uh, salt and pepper hair with three braids. Rather short, possibly gnomish, uh, exits the wagon, followed by two cats, one black, one white. Uh, and she goes around the blind side of the uh, wagon. So I, I essentially have the wagon as cover between herself and myself. Mm -hmm. You can escape if you want, or you can see what this lady is up to. 
Oh, 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 that's too Folks at home, I did tell these guys that they were going to have several encounters. Uh, they could fight them all if they wanted, but not all of them are going to be aggressive. I, I, I am a sufficient amount of distance from the zombies at this point where I'm not worried about them sneaking up on me. You, you don't see any uh, cause for alarm. Yeah, I, I, I've been traveling for about an hour now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will, taking the opportunity of being hidden, I will turn into Anastasia uh, and uh, uh, make my presence known to her. Uh, call out to her? Uh, no, I don't necessarily want to call out because I don't want her to think that I was eavesdropping. Mm -hmm. But I want to, I guess pretend to look for herbs or so, like that, that I'm harvesting flowers or something in this, in this area mm -hmm. uh, and give her the opportunity to see me. Hello, dearie. Uh, hello, madam. How are you? I've been better. I've been worse. How are you? I'm very good. I'm just making some stew. Are you hungry? Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I have just had my, uh, my, my, uh, I had, I had a rather late lunch. Not a problem. You uh, notice I, that do, the... I do appreciate the offer, making sure to be hospitable. No problem. You notice that her cats are just rubbing up against her stubby little legs and they do not seem to give a rat's ass about you. You notice that she has a large cauldron and two Shetland ponies tethered to a dead tree. So it looks like a campsite. Okay. What are you doing uh, I, out here? I, I, I I'm just on the uh, on an excursion to try and gather some some roots and uh, other other herbal ingredients for some 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 poultices that I'm working on. Do you need any? I have a great plethora of uh, of those. I, I I mean I would gladly uh, give you coin uh, for them. I, I would. No, no, that, that won't be necessary. Out of the goodness of my heart, I rarely see travelers this far west. But I would take a moment of your time to talk to me in a friendly manner. Sometimes I get lonely on the road. I was going to say, I, 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 is, is there anywhere around her to sit down? Is, uh, like, there, is, she, is she motioning or anything? There, there's two stumps. So she's got the campfire mm -hmm. and then a stump of a dead tree and another stump of a dead tree. Either one are suitable. I mean, they aren't going to give you hemorrhoids, but okay. they, they I mean, I'll, 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 you know, gesture in a questionable manner and say, I, I'd certainly love to hear your story. Well, I come out here every year on the anniversary of my dear departed love's uh, death. He crashed on the rock. Was, was, was that you that I heard singing so, so beautifully earlier? Oh, I don't know if I sing beautifully or not, but yes, I was singing the fateful dirge of the captain's widow. And is that a is is that a, a an original creation or is that a folklore folkloric song I might be familiar with? It laments the loss of my husband. Okay, so so you wrote that yourself. Uh, that's quite impressive. That was quite uh, quite eloquent. Why? Thank you. It helps mend the heart. I can understand <clears throat> that immensely. She reaches in, grabs a ladle, pours it into a little bit of crockery, takes a sip. Mm, that is wonderful. You can smell it. Uh, give me a nature check. <coughs> uh, sometimes the dick dice, I have to, I have, I have them on a beige background. I have to try. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Smells wonderful. She again offers you or extends you the courtesy. She says, I also have some ale or some water if you need something to drink. Uh, I, I do try and keep the body pure. It is a temple after all, but I would appreciate some water. Certainly. Gets it out, gives you a mug of water. Look in. You aren't Marty McFly grossed out by it, so it's okay. okay. She asks, uh, may I ask, what brings can, you out this far? Can I get a quick insight check? Sure. Uh, Twenty-two. What would you like to know? I mean, does she just genuinely seem to be forthright? She's not trying to be... 
this is the real thing, the real deal. This is a little old lady in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's all the more reason to be suspicious. <laughs> Uh, I, I, will, I, I will. I will take her. T- take the drink that's offered. I won't necessarily drink out of it right away, though. Okay. No, that's uh, fine. But I'm holding it now. Now, anyway, she was asking. She was asking what brought you out into the middle of nowhere. By your appearance, it looks like you can handle yourself. But there are a bit of nasties out here, especially with all the recent trouble. Oh, mm-hmm. that's absolutely true. Uh, like I mentioned, I, I am just out here trying to collect some uh, ingredients for some. Some healing draughts. Uh, that's my profession. Uh, from uh, you know, I, I I originally hail from wherever the hell I'm actually headed to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, she kind of wobbles over, trying not to trip over her cats, and drops a little panel on the wagon, exposing a wide variety of herbs and uh, vegetation. She's the snake oil salesman from Pete's Dragon. Pretty much only nicer. So she allows you full reign to look over anything that you want to see. We'll move back to Taryn. Taryn, it's been a week, a uh, couple weeks now, and you and your new friend Cola uh, have actually gotten along pretty well. She seems to be rather uh, chatty Kathy, uh, but uh, she has uh, shared a great deal of uh, her, uh, shall we say, shenanigans in the port city of Fulton, which caused her to go out onto the road. So oh, you can share oh, you, Fulton? Yes, you, you can understand uh, at least a little bit of what she's saying. A lot of the places seem to be familiar. Uh, honest about that, huh? Insight? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, because I'd be suspicious about anything like that. Yeah. Of course, my fucking dice don't roll for shit. So that's seven. So I totally believe it. Yep. She, uh, se- she, she seems to be truthful. Uh, you are slowly making your way around. Uh, the presence of the military uh, does not bode well. You can imagine that your associates have probably brought this down upon themselves. And you are <laughs> hoping that your exoneration will stick. Uh, although Cola says. What? Yeah, they're going to come after you. Why? Don't you think it's weird that the minute they let you out, there's a whole bunch of problems? Well, there's a whole bunch of other problem makers other than me in that town. Why were you on trial? When? Why? Why? Well, one of the guards got murdered. And so you're a killer? No, not at all. Well, you were on trial for it. Yeah, because he was, he was already dead when we. If you weren't him. guilty, why did they arrest you? <laughs> oh, wait till Blake finds out about my backstory. That's gonna. Be funny. Um. No. 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 When we, when me and, you know, the barbarian, when we walked out, he, the guard was already dead. We picked up because we happened to be there. Did I've you? always. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. That happens to me a lot from what <laughs> seems, seems to happen to me all the time these days. She seems to buy that bullshit account. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait. There's nothing bullshit about it. I'm not rolling uh, deception checks. Uh, can I make well, persuasion then? You can. Her insight check was a six. Oh, well, my base persuasion is 10. Okay. Well, as you continue down the middle of uh, the area, uh, you, at some point in time this month, will break into high grasslands and give me a perception check. Oh, because this will be so good. (laughs) Oh, wait, it actually is good. Uh, This time, that's that's a 19. Cola nudges you and says, do you see what I see? You both notice uh, what appears to be a heavily damaged tower off in the distance. Do I have any idea what that is? If I heard any stories or anything based on that on that tower? Uh, it could be Battle Keep, which history is rumored check? to be haunted. Can I make a history check? Sure. For funsies? Uh, probably not. That's only an 11. 
Unless it's really you, well. You're you're pretty sure that that'll keep is farther south. You don't think you've been making that great a time. <clears throat> I have no idea what this place is. Looks well, like an old, a tower. And it's it's not like ancient, decrepit. It's like damaged. Uh, gee, I'm, I'm only with her. I, I mean, dungeon and crawling's fine when I'm with a group, but this seems... I say we go over and check it out. Why do you want to check it out? <laughs> There's, There's good shit in ruins. Come on. Where's your adventuring spirit? Where's your <laughs> joie de vie? There's only ruined shit in ruins. That's why they're called ruins. Sure. Let's go check it out. As you head that way, you notice that the skies are starting to darken, and perhaps going to the tower will be beneficial after all, because it looks like a thunderstorm is approaching. Oh, fun. All right. Well, this is going to be bad. All right. Yeah, nothing bad has ever happened in the ruins of a tower. None whatsoever. So, so I will go. We'll go there. And you, you know what? I, just to put this way, I'm just happy to have somebody to travel with because she's been alone for a while. So she's kind of desperate for company. So sure. you're no, going to and... try and cuddle the midget in your sleep, aren't you? <laughs> No. Spoon, big spoon. <laughs> no, no, no. You're literally, big spoon in the half lane. <laughs> uh, the uh, storm clouds are rolling in faster than expected. Would you like to pick up the pace or just nonchalantly head that way? No, we'll pick up the pace. Very good. Uh, oh, really? Lightning, thank you. Yes, lightning strikes are starting to occur as you reach safely the old tower. You are stunned by the name over the entrance. Oh, what is it? Bushmill. What? I don't know that much about the guy, but I know his son was. You know, you know that he was your magistrate. <laughs> he was the magistrate. And you know he, you weren't there when his son died. No, I wasn't there out there when his son died. I uh, know. Thunder cracks over the top, and you notice that the entrance is darkened. It looks like it has come under attack at some point in time. Oh, I mean, I'll no, I'll kind of knock and then have you know open the door. Oh, the door's shattered. Oh, the door like the shit out of that place. Yeah. Oh, so I can just walk right in. Yep. And it's as it's dark. As you and Cole, do you do you have dark vision? Uh, I believe a wood elf would, wouldn't a wood elf? Uh, I'm not sure how much wood a wood elf could elf, but <laughs> it, it could. Yes, uh, I keep forgetting you're a wood elf. I keep thinking I'm you're a wood elf. Yeah, yeah, dark vision. <laughs> you want half, half wood elf, half high elf, but I took all the wood elf stuff. Uh, you and Cola meander on in. Give me a d12 to see if you beat Cola to see what she sees. Oh boy. Yeah, you beat me by one. I rolled a three. Damn it. There's a low whistle from your traveling companion. She's like, whoo, how do you think that thing died? Uh, what thing died? You look oh, over to one side, and there is a slashed corpse rotting, very rotting. Uh, it appears to be a hobgoblin of some kind. I have no idea. I mean, obviously, by blades. Huh. I have no yeah, what happened here? Cola wanders right on in and starts poking around. Uh, you see in the center of the tower, there is a stone spiral staircase. You also notice it's stained of <coughs> something. It's, oh, probably red, right? Reddish brownish? After this long, hard to say. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm afraid to find out. Uh, sure, I'll go. Up. Is she poking around the body? No, she's poking around everything else. The places look like it's been ransacked pretty well. Um, oh, geez. I guess I can poke around the body. I mean, it's been a really long time, though, hasn't it? So I'm not going to really get much from a medicine check on... You said I could tell it was slashed. Oh, yeah. Like weapon slashes or like claw slashes? It looks like be... weapons, probably. All right. The um, maggots there are hard to define the direct so, edges. All right, so I'll go to Cola. I'm like, um, hey, you want to go up the stairs? 
You hear a loud baying noise. Like thunder or bang? Like a dog. Baying, baying. Oh, baying. I thought you said bang. I'm sorry. A bit Uh, from where? Before we continue, over to Perpetua. Perpetua, you have learned something unusual in your chat with uh, the gypsy wagon, Karna Lope. Uh, and, and and I would ask her her official name and give her the name of Anastasia. Correct. And as, she as, accepts that. Uh, if you ever have that glass of water, it's very refreshing. Uh, no, I'm still essentially just holding it. Gotcha. No, that's fine. If you do decide to drink it, it is safe. Uh, she, I'm not, I don't believe you. <laughs> I, I'm not even having your role. Uh, <laughs> she asks you what you think of all the trouble that's been going on. Well, uh, I mean, there's been a whole lot of trouble going on everywhere. I, is there anything in particular that you have that, that, that's just been discouraging you? Those damn gnomes. I just can't believe they do something like that. Now, I, 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 have, a, I, I, I have met a couple in my travels, and I have to say that they have displeased me immensely. So I, I would have to agree that. I, I, At I, least have, we're I, safe I, have, I have run across a couple bad apples, but I don't necessarily like to say they spoiled a bunch. So you have not heard? I don't believe so. I've, I've been, I have been out gathering for quite some time, if it's a recent ongoing affair. The nation of Andura is up in arms. There has been a great purge of the Aracacra Aracaca, population. <laughs> yeah. And it's turned into a big caca. <laughs> uh, I, and I had and I had heard of that. I heard that from one of the ship captains, I believe. Can you believe they've enlisted the aid of the gargoyles? Meaning the is she referring to the gnomes or the Aarakocra? The gnomes. I mean, I could I could understand how that could be, just because they they're native to the area. I don't necessarily. I think that uneasy truces make for wary neighbors, but. I, I can under, I can understand how they would stretch strategically be interested in something like that. Well, those people have been at odds, but they haven't had outright war in years. I have heard rumor that there is a chosen one that is supposed to unite the clans. Wow. Uh, is, he, is, is his name Sean Connery? <laughs> <laughs> his name is Christopher Lambert. Oh, okay. Okay. Because there could be only there could one. be only one. <laughs> I was going to go with the Keanu Reeves decided against it. Yep. Um, <laughs> this is, I, I had not heard that bit of lore, no. And I, oh, I, you need to get to town, girl. I, this I, is, I clearly, this is clearly, common knowledge. Clearly. Well, I, 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 I am a recent uh, immigrant to that area. That's, uh, that's, that's where I've only recently Build been. a wall. Build, <laughs> don't build walls. Because, because <laughs> Anast- Anastasia is a tiefling. Oh, okay. Yes, she doesn't seem phased or put off by that at all. Uh, and then she asks you if you'd like to peruse her uh, produce to see if there's anything that you need. She's, I, I need to tend to my cauldron. Uh, my cats need fed. So I mean, is everything labeled? Is it? Uh, oh, yes. Like, yeah. Oh, no. She's she's a freaking uh, Nazi she's a, on the she, label. She, she, yeah, she's a Anal retentive. Up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, if, so I can... I, and, and again, I'm going to like look with my hands behind my back. I'm not looking with my, I'm looking with my eyes. She's got her back to you. She is I'm, not, I, I, I'm not going to steal from the sweet little old lady. Fair enough. You think she's a sweet little old lady. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I'm like, until, until I have cause to believe otherwise, if, if she turns into a werewolf, I'm stabbing her with my silver daggers. <laughs> That's fine. But uh, I, I am keeping her. Can I keep her in my periphery? Sure. I, Give I, me I a perception wanna, check, too. I don't want to lose track of her or her cats. That's fine. Uh, that's a 15. Okay. You see a figure running towards your area, and it ain't her. Uh, from which direction? Like, is assuming assuming the, uh, the, the north. The, the potion rack is my 12. The potion rack is your 12? It's from 9 o'clock. Okay. And she is about 7 o'clock. And okay. then you hear her... <sighs> oh dear! Not again! Uh, I, I'll ask. Oh, what's what's going on? As you turn around, a pair of goblins are rushing towards your area. You notice the black and white cats bound off through the high grass, but on their last bound, 
they're the size of cougars and they take down both goblins and you hear a god-awful racket of screaming followed by rending assuming that they were successful in their quarry uh, i don't think there's any question at all that puss and boots got <laughs> what they needed to do okay i'll i'll, I'll ask her do, do they seem to have this under control or do you do you need a hand maybe oh no it looks like they found their own food they're fine dear okay please peruse. Uh, okay i mean are these are these assaults a common occurrence we're out in the wilderness my dear okay i, I mean i mean I'm, I'm, I'm just well that's i might i might my, my, my i i i i've known very few goblins to travel only in pairs it's the wilderness a black and white cat reapproach her and begin to meow because apparently eating the goblins was not very tasteful. She goes, hang on a dear. I have to feed my cats. Oh, they're going to go make a hairball. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay. But I mean, yes, uh, you'll spend an hour or so with her, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, more now but, she no, is her. going to the coast on a direct route and offers you the opportunity to travel with her in the event that you don't feel safe being out here by yourself. I, I say that I, 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 I respectfully appreciate the, the gesture, but I, I, I am actually in a hurry to get back home. No problem, my dear. No problem whatsoever. I, I mean, I would be happy to accompany you, if, but if you seem to have your, your own protection under in hand. Oh, I think I'm fine, dear. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to condescend to her either. No, she understands that. No, nope. yeah. she, she takes a rather humorous look at it. And you can just tell without an insight roll, uh, this bitch is rocking. So yeah, she she's she's seen some shit. Yeah, there's no problem here. Okay, so so going back to the, to the rack, if if there's no other commotion, mm -hmm. what what do I see? What do you want? I I don't know what's available. I mean, I uh, it's a wide variety of uh, different herbs and spices. Uh, her last name ought to be Colonel Sanders. Uh, you can find about 59% of anything that you want in there. But the quantities it's, are limited. It's it's raw materials, though. Correct. There are no finished potions. Okay. Uh, Perpetua is proficient with herbalism and, and knows how to make healing potions. So I would want some of the ingredients for that. Okay. You can have 59% of the ingredients that you need. Not that she's hiding any. It's just that she doesn't have the other... And, and, and I'll, I'll take 45% because I'm not going to drain her stocks. Okay, that's fair enough. Roll D12 against me. And, and by take, I mean, you know, with her, with her blessing. That's a seven. Okay. As you say your goodbyes after several hours of keeping her entertained, she reaches out her hand and says, take this if you need it. Uh, might I ask what it is? It is a small potion vial. Is it empty? If you empty? get, is, if you get hurt, you oh. might need it. I will graciously accept and take it from her. Stay out of trouble, young lady. And she moves I, the I, Shetlands. I do, I do my best. She moves the Shetlands over and gets them all <laughs> harnessed up. She heads due west towards the coastline. Uh, I will find, what, what time is it now? Is it early evening? Mm-hmm. So I haven't necessarily rested since I've come from Think. So I'd, I'd like to just take a take a quick breather. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, assu assuming that I, I mean, I yeah, I probably did for get a short rest chatting to the old broad. But she likes to travel it. You will have found out that she likes to travel at night because she likes the entertainment value. Uh, her if cats you are want, not her you cats can are ride not in the back. Her cats are nocturnal. Um, I, I will. I will actually accept her offer to travel for the evening, okay. uh, saying that I will probably have to continue my trip when she sets the camp for the day. No worries, dearie. No worries at all. We should be to the coast in less than two days. Uh, I, I'm. I'm. I'm basically telling you. By the time she goes to bed, I'm going to keep going. Fair enough. Uh, and that works out without issue. You get in the back, it's a little bumpy. They need some new shocks, maybe a few struts on that thing. Uh, but other than that, you're going to get your short rest in. Uh, where, are the, where are the cats? Always up front with her. Okay. And, <clears throat> and, on she's, in, and she's in the... One on this. She's, she's steering on, the Shetlands. She's, she's on the reins, essentially outside of the tent. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's a wooden box. The only door is at the back. She's driving. I'd actually, would she have an objection if I sat with her? You'll have to put a cat in your lap. I would have no objection to that. You want the black or the white one? White. Boots. You get boots, which incidentally, folks, fantastic episode of boots. <laughs> uh, you get boots and she she is just as pleasant as get out. So you head that way. Uh, back to Taryn. Taryn, uh, oh, the bane is coming from inside the tower from a shadowy figure that you guys did not notice. You and your new associate, Cola, are going to need to roll a DC 11 wisdom. I assume you're rolling for her. Mm-hmm. DC 11? Yep. Where's my saves on this thing? Where are my saves on this thing? Oh, wait, which kind of save? Wisdom. Friggin' damn it, eight. Both of you are petrified, and then you snap out of it and you hoof it uh, for one minute or a distance of 300 feet. You are now out in the lightning storm. Roll a d20. Oh, God. 18. Hey, why can't I roll that before? She got a 16. Uh, although there is some lightning activity, it doesn't appear to be new to you, or near to you. So at this moment in time, you are safe. Once you get a football field away, you turn to each other, and Cola asks, what the hell was that thing? Do I have any idea what the hell that thing was? I am guessing you have zero idea what this thing is. I mean, it's some, it was some sort of a dog. Well, like, you know what? I'm hungry. Let's go eat some dog. You want to eat dog? Let's go kill that thing. Um, Come on. There's two of us. Womanhood. We can do a whole Thelma and Louise thing here. That's fine. That's fine. Age. I'm a freaking idiot, but that's fine. She's she starts tromping off, unsheathes yep. her weapon. She's gonna kick some ass. I go. What, what, what's she? What's she wielding? She's wielding a short sword, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, short sword. Fine. You know and she what? also has a longbow, which I don't know how they use a longbow, but. All right, then I'm gonna cast on the way back greater invisibility. On her or you? Me. Nice. I uh, think- she looks capable, right? Oh, yeah. She was in a group uh, with the two others, the Dragonborn and the Tiefling. Actually, I don't know what her... Cl- I don't know if she's a rogue or anything. Do I? You don't know shit about her. She didn't tell you that part. Yeah. You know that she's a Lightfoot halfling that's a folk hero. And uh, from previous encounter, you don't know it, but she is the cousin of one of the halflings that the other four killed. Yeah, because no. They I, stole no, the box. I, I knew Carol knows that. Saren doesn't necessarily know that. Correct. Um, so I, she's wish, I, up. Wish I, would, I wish I would have given you the engraved French horn. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you got it. She, she's tromping forward and she goes up to the front door and goes, Here, boy, here, boy. Uh, a moment later, a spectral form leaps out. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And knocks her to the ground. It is oh, a dude. gray creature uh, that vaguely resembles a dog. Oh, wow. This a is- mastiff, if you will. Let's go with initiative. Okay, now that they're getting better. What is my next one? 18. Four, and she got a 12. <coughs> so 18, 12, four. Uh, it is going to be AC 12 to hit this creature. Um, I'm debating when I want to just hit it or if I want to actually, well, I've got advantage to get us against it. Maybe I'll just go hit it or okay. try to. I do actually, I have a plus one crossbow. So I will try to shoot it with advantage because I'm invisible. God, fuck you. However, oh wait, you said it's only a 12? Okay, only I can Only a 12. It. So yeah, that, that, make, that makes it, that's a 50. So that's a D8 plus four. Wow. 
Uh, that would be uh, eight points of damage. Fair enough. She's going to be orange. The shadow mastiff will be gold. What did she do? Uh, in a, her effort to attack the creature, she has flung her short sword, and you hear it clang against the cobblestone flooring of uh, Bushmill Tower. The Shadow Mastiff attacks. Uh, uh, snaps at her, but she quickly moves her head to one side, uh, causing it to miss. New round. Oh, maybe I will do what I was going to do. Huh. Um, that's going to be a 19. Uh, it got a two. She got a nine. So well, we're up again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, does she have a weapon at all now? She seems to be reaching down towards her leg. Okay, good. Um, I want to cast because it'll make it. It'll give her advantage too. I want to. Who the hell is it? <laughs> I want to cast glitter dust. I know I have that freaking spell, but I can't find it right now. I would like to cast glitter dust. It is. The hell is the spell? So, level one spell, right? I assume. Fairy fire, sorry, wrong spell. Fairy fire. Make a dexterity save. Hmm. Maybe Nine. You, you do not make it. So, it is limed in like purple fire. Okay. Because purple's the best. And now she gets advantage to hit it. And I don't think I. She she, she is able get, to. She didn't get hit, right. Her. Yeah, she didn't get hit. Just there. she got pounced on. Uh, you can't tell if she took any damage or not. Okay, then fair. With advantage, she does strike true with the dagger that she's yanked out of her boot and stabs the creature. Okay. Uh, for damage, uh, it will now attack. Whew. Six plus five, <laughs> 11. No, initiative. I'm glad the rolls are as bad as mine were. Oh, my rolls are getting better. Uh, that's a 22. You go, <laughs> Mastiff goes, Cola goes. Hmm. Do I want to freaking just nuke this thing with a magic missile? Because I really love magic missile. Um... Sure. Why don't I blow a magic missile in a third level slot? How many does that give me? That gives me. I have to figure out. I get two plus. What do you get base? You only get one. Oh, so that's three missiles. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I will do it in a third level spot. So I'll get three missiles. Where is my other D4? There it is. Uh, was that seven? That's ten points of damage. Very nice. Uh, let's see. One to three, it stays with her. Four, it's gonna rise for you. The one, she's gonna stay on. Uh, Thirteen plus five is eighteen. That's gonna hit. She yells in pain as the beast's fangs. Ooh, bite into her and gets plus three to that uh, she will attempt to stab at it with advantage loses oh with advantage <laughs> I was going to say that's a one and you know what I forgot halflings get to re-roll ones yeah, he's, he gets uh, oh that's right too but no, she gets advantage because he's got fairy fire uh, yeah easily hits it Come on. That was a good hit. Uh, new round. All right. Ah, that's crappy. That's only a nine. Nine. Uh, the Shadow Mastiff is quick on its feet and does not like you hitting it. So now it's going to be 50 50. Yeah. Odd Cola, even you. Two, even you. It right. leaps off the half lean and goes after you. It has disadvantage because I'm invisible. Well, you you use magic missile, or you? Still oh wait, 
no magic no it's greater invisibility okay. greater invisibility does not break when i cast a spell or okay. when i oh wait a minute though it's concentration so yeah forget it i wanted to help her so uh, no, just, no, did you did you cast a non-concentration spell that invisibility greater visibility is concentration so you haven't been so. you haven't been hit yet yeah, I was going to say, did you, did, did what you were trying to cast, was it non-concentration? Uh, wait, I cast, no, fairy fire is concentration, so the invisibility okay. would have gone. I was forgetting that invisibility was concentration. I rolled a 19 and a 17. I was going to nail you either way. You hit me anyway, so go roll damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, 13 hit points, dear. That thing clamps down on you big as shit. And you notice that the form is rather, I don't know, marshmallowy. It, it doesn't feel like it's solid form. Uh, it feels like it's solid when it's chewing my arm off. Yep. You are up next, followed by Cola. Oh, I'm like right in melee with it, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Corona is a plant. Actually, I'm gonna just. I can't really. Can I shoot it? Sure, it's between you and Cola. Even for melee. All right, so I have advantage because it's got. Uh, it didn't pounce on you. So. Oh wait, I gotta roll this uh, concentration. How much you did? Thirteen Ten. point ten. Of course, I can't fucking roll. Um. <laughs> That blows. Well, at least that hit. That's a 16 on the freaking die, so that's a 23. Ow, 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 ow. That is six points of damage. Eh, not bad. Cola will go. She will throw her dagger and jump for her short sword. Misses uh, with the dagger over your shoulder and into the grassland behind. But easily grabs her short sword. Uh, I'd say initiative, but back to Perpetua. Perpetua, oh, come on. <laughs> your time, your time with the uh, Carnalope. Yes, uh, her name is uh, Carnalope. Carney Lope. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was very insightful. Uh, she's uh, she seemed to get more morose the closer she got to the coast. Uh, obviously, this uh, annual ritual takes a lot out of her, but she tried to keep up pleasantries. Uh, after saying your goodbye, uh, she wished you luck. I, I would. I would like to. Do, I, I, I'm, I want, I'm going through my things. I would like to give her some kind of a token of appreciation. Let me see what I have here. Sure. Uh, Actually, I took Phoebe with me. I would like to give her Phoebe. What's Phoebe? Phoebe is my puppy. Oh, those dogs are okay. This is first no. month. Your dog is fine. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to say that I, I clearly she has a way with animals, and that I would, I, I, I was able to. That, yeah, I basically still have Phoebe in my baby Bjorn. Let's see what the cats think of. I, I was going to say, I'm like, if they if they react negatively, I won't. But if, if they do. Neutral. Uh, I, I, so yeah, I would. I would. Can, cantalope will say, eh, "It'll be fine." I, we'll I mean, I'll I, get I, along. I, 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 don't, I don't mean to impose. It's, it's she. She's been. I've been. I have been in, in the process of training her, and so she. She is essentially housebroken for all intents and purposes. I'd say. Oh, you're fine, dear. Uh, are you going to head along the coast? Uh, I, again, this town wasn't marked on our map, so you're going to have to explain to me what my options are. Uh, Rourke is a farming village. Uh, and, and, and Rourke is where? Rourke is in line with where Taryn's going. Uh, Yaddle is on the coast. Right, and that's where I'm going because I need to get to the coast. I need, I need to get to the harbor. Sure. Uh, so you can climb the mountains uh, and go overland and go due south. And is there another option? You can go inland and work through the uh, 
partially populated one third of the uh, nation? I, I'm, I'm like, how far inland? Like, is, is, like what, what's my time difference, basically? Following the coast is the surest way of finding Yaddle. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't personally been there. I just know generally whereabouts it is. I'm, I'm sure she was able to, without divulging too much of the fact that I was bullshitting her, she was able to, you know, give me some directions, uh, you know, just in casual conversation. So, I, yeah, I guess I'd assume I'd go through the mountains. That's fair. Uh, as you go through the mountains for uh, several days, turning into several weeks, up and down, up and down. You meet the Von Trapp kids singing. Oh, uh, oh, would, would, she, would she rather have the cursed pendant I got from the gnome? Whatever you want to give her is fine. Uh, you, let's say you gave her the dog, because I'm killing okay. her. Spoiler alert, folks. Killing the dogs. That was yeah, yeah Perpetu Perpetua wouldn't give up a dead dog, though. She'll give up a live one. So I, yeah. I don't want to have to be carrying that thing around. Uh, as you trek your way down through the mountains, after several weeks, you come to uh, what appears to be an island paradise and a small cottage sitting on a small inlet. Looks like it's Cersei. Uh, I burned it down. That's no, 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 no. Uh, so, so there's there's a just basically someone has built a hut on a on a shoal. Just off, off the coast. Could be Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon. No, it's it's Cersei. I'm not going to drink anything she gives me either. <laughs> uh, you do not see any movement in the area. Uh, can I get a uh, listen check? Sure. Uh, uh, that's going to be a 14. The waves crash on the rocks. Yeah. You uh, hear a seagull in the distance. Yeah, I think it's an albatross, and I take it as a bad omen. Um, what? Uh, so, do I have to go to this island, or is it just? No, something it's an I'm inlet. Thinking? It's an inlet. I, okay, but is it? Oh, okay. It is, but is it? You can you can dodge it if you want. I, I can I can bypass it if I so choose, but it's easier to go. It's right along it. the way. Don't mind me, just passing by. Okay, I mean. I'm, I'm assuming that they have travelers coming by every so often, so it's not going to be completely out, out of line to see a, a humanoid. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will, I, I'm not going to go and like peer in the windows like a peep and Tom, but I'll, 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 I'll go with whatever, just whatever their uh, easement to the sea line is. I guess I'll be using that. Give me a perception check. That one's better. That's a 21. Looks like somebody's laying on the porch. Uh, can I look for Brett? Like look for look for rising chest. Investigation. At, at, a, at distance. At a distance. Yeah. Uh, that's 15. Hard to say. Doesn't look like it. But surely, maybe they're out drunk. What time of day is it? Uh, it's starting to hit evening hours. So this is not the same day as when you left the gypsy. This yeah, is several it's been, days. It's been weeks, weeks, yeah. Right. Uh, so it's about six, seven o'clock at night. Yeah, sure. Tide's going out. Uh, I mean, you know, will, maybe I, this I guy will, lets you stay. I, I don't need a place to stay. I'm not concerned about my camping, but I, I, I do want to... Uh, if, if he's fallen and he can't get up, I would like to call life alert. <laughs> Fair enough. He might have diabetes. <laughs> uh, the closer you get, roll an uh, investigation. Yeah, I, 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 do, yeah, I, I do still want, as if, I, if that would be easier to check as I approach. That's a 14 plus, it's a 19. Seems to be blood on the porch. Okay, can I get another listen? Sure. Now that I'm closer to the house. Uh, that's still only going to be 16. Kind of a suctiony noise or a slithering noise or some seems, kind of non-footprint. Seems to be emanating from the, from the cottage, though. The interior, correct. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm like, little old lady didn't hurt me. I'll fucking go and try and save this person, too. 
<laughs> as you reach the porch, the cranium of this and, creature. And, and I am approaching slowly. Get around! <laughs> not, 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 not in a cowardly fashion. In, in a, in a watch, watch my, uh, watch my uh, six and nine kind of fashion. Sure, you're a cautious approach. As you get closer to the porch, you notice that the individual's cranium has been crushed in, bludgeoned, and that is the source of the blood. This creature is dead. Uh, I do CPR. I did everything I can. <laughs> <laughs> As you approach the porch, roll initiative. Okay. Uh, that's a... 12. That's a 19 plus... I, I beat you with a 12, uh, if you sure. have a uh, A rather large snail with multiple heads emerges from underneath the raised porch and seems to be squaring off with you. Okay. Can I... Get a pretty. Does this thing have pet tags or something on it? It does not. Okay. It looks like a snail, but it doesn't move like a snail. How does it move? Faster. Okay. And it is closing the gap quickly. Okay. Uh, it has five heads and they're five heads. like little prickly balls. Oh, I know what this One is. One might say flailish. Yeah. I, I don't know what this is. I'm like, so. Uh, I will this go is ahead an old take, school fiend folio thing that was remade for 5e. I will I have, take the opportunity. I, I mean, I will take the opportunity to cast Blink on myself as a precautionary measure. And can I get some sort of a check to determine what the fuck it could be? Like what, what, what its nature is? Sure, go ahead. Uh, do nature check. Uh, nature is going to be 19. Uh, it appears to be aquatic life. There's something wrong with the shell. It seems to be starting to glow. Okay. So that, that's my turn, and I cast blank, and I go ethereal. Fair enough. Uh, back to Terran. Taryn, new round with you and Cola. Uh, 15. 16 and 10. Who got the 16? Who got the 10? Oh, is that important? Yes. Cola gives out a screech, leaps towards the, uh, fa uh, the shadow mastiff, and misses. <laughs> Damn it. You're up. All right. Bonus action. I'm giving her a D8 for inspiration. Okay. Um, and then, geez, what have I got? I mean, does this thing look like we've heard it? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's it's injured. You've done 33 hit points to it. No, what? Uh, God, have I got anything good I can do? Other than just magic missling it to death? Not really. Hmm. I mean, I've got a zillion spells, but they're... How bad does she look, by the way? Eh, she's seen better days. Does she look like she's about to drop or no? No. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to cast another third level magic missile. Okay. Although it's not that hard to hit, but come on. Oh, that's good. That's 13 points of damage. Pew. Odd her, even you, even you with a 20, but my attack roll is. Don't, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I'm using cutting words. Okay. Because I got to do it before I know the result. That's fine. So what if it missed anyways? It's two natural 20s in a row. Oh, shit. Wait, you're rolling with advantage? No. The 20 was the uh, other roll, and that one is your attack roll. So it hits with a natural 20. Well, uh, I did cut in words, which means I take off the D8 of, on that. You can, but it's still a natural 20. Uh, I don't know if that's considered a crit anymore, though. 
It is. <laughs> it is good, but it might make a difference in the damage. That's fair. So it would be an 18. Uh, yeah, like, like they cancel the crit thing that uh, Grave Knights have. All right, what do you roll? I, I'm just going to roll normal damage. If I can I'm find sure. it rather than looking at the whale Eight plus three. Eleven. Okay. I'm still okay. I'm not looking great either, but I'm okay. New round. Man, this is what I mean. I'm not a fighting character. Whew. Oh, for, yeah. You, you, I rolled a nine. I rolled a four for the creature and a 13 for her. Uh, Cole is going to go after it. Come on, Cole. And remember, you get a D8 inspiration. <laughs> she's going to, uh, she's a halfling. She gets to re roll that shit. Never mind. That's a one. It's a six, and the D8, I don't think, is going to help. Yeah, it's not going to help. Only a freaking 12. Is she trying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can show you the dice rolls. You know, considering where she's from and how you've hinted that she's following me and shit, is she trying to have get me killed? Is that what the deal is? No, she's she's wounded the creature. Yeah, no, and she's been wounded by the creature. So no, she, I, she has rolled three ones. This is the first time I remember that she gets to re-roll ones. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. You're killing me. And she used the inspiration. Just uh, think of her as Chris. <laughs> fuck. Uh, now I it's the Mastiff's problem. Uh, odd even. Wait, is it my turn? Wait, it goes before me, right? Oh, no, no, no. I, I stand corrected. You get to go. You got the nine. It got the four. It will be going after Cola. Uh, um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna shoot it. That's a 19 on the die. I wish I was a fighter, man. That'd be a crit. Uh, that's gonna hit though. Where for, um, that's good damage. Uh, 11 points of damage. Oh, that really hurt it. Yeah, that's why he keeps coming after me. <laughs> it got cola again. Oh, I have to. Uh, six, eight, and three, eleven. Yeah. You know what? She's not looking so hot. All right. Uh, Perpetua. Oh. You can see the flail snail moving towards your original position, but stop. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, let me look. So that's its turn. Uh, is there anything ethereal fucking with me? Oh, I forgot. I'm going to use the dice that keeps rolling ones. <laughs> Three. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, so at the start of my turn, I appear thirty within 30 feet of where I disappeared. So I'm going to... It, it's effectively now where I disappeared. I'm going uh, to... It's close. Okay, well, I'm going to appear behind it. Can, so you, can you do that? 30 feet of where I disappeared. But you're able to control where you come back in. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. But, uh, but I mean, assuming, you know, if I, tr if I try to appear somewhere where there already is something, then I take bludgeoning damage. But Okay. Uh, new round, initiative. Okay. So I, I, I at the start of my turn... Whether, whether it goes before me or not at the start of my turn is when I reappear. Right. Mine is 19. Mine is 15. So you reappear. <laughs> Behind it. Okay. Uh, and I want to enter the house if possible. Sure. Uh, quietly. Uh, D12 against me. Or stealth check. Now uh, we can just do a D12. I have, okay, that's an 11. Okay. You have made it inside the simple fisherman's hut. Without necessarily causing undue attention to myself. You're inside. <laughs> well, that, that's why I wanted to roll a stealth roll. Yeah. You can still roll the stealth. You won't know because you'll be inside. Well, yeah. But I'm going to assume that this thing has difficulty with stairs. 
Probably. Maybe. Could be. New uh, round. Yeah. So I'm I'm inside of the hut. I'm just going to take a, is, is there anyone alive in here? Nope. Far, uh, the fisherman appears to be the only one. That okay. 19. I mean, and I can fairly reasonably deduce that the caved in skull person was the owner of this particular He's dressed in uh, dock shoes and uh, rolled he, he up looks, jeans. He looks, like the, he looks like the Gordon's fisherman. Pretty much, yeah. There's a yellow slicker hanging behind the opening of the door. Uh, what's your initiative roll? Mine was 19. Mine was 19 as well. What do you want oh, to oh, do? I, no, no, I, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm, t I'm, I'm using my turn to like loop, like ransack the place. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Not, not ransack. I, that's the wrong term, but uh, 24. Uh, coming up the stairs. What, what is this? this uh, you want to go look? No, I'm, I'm inside and I'm trying to look around for shit. Yeah. And you can hear something coming in the stairs. Okay. But, but I don't see anything of note or anything. Uh, fishing I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not concerned about that thing. Okay. Uh, no, you, you don't see anything unusual. I mean, it's a simple fire or fisherman's hut. Did, did he keep a log, a journal, like a diary, ledger, investigation like check? Yeah, uh, that's only a seven. Uh, I know you see a pile of books, but uh, it's going to take you a minute or two to go through it. Okay, uh, I will plan on doing that in my next turn. Uh, I'm going to assume that that ends this turn. I don't disappear this turn. Okay, initiative. Okay. Only a nine. Uh, 14. Okay. So uh, the, um, the flail snail rounds into the doorway. Okay. I'm going to continue perusing the books. Fair enough. Uh, a bright light uh, begins to emit from the scintillating shell. I am facing away from it, I assume. You are currently... If you turn around, you yeah. may be blinded. That's fine, but I am currently facing away from it. Correct. Uh, new round. Okay. Well, hang on. If that's so, I'm I'm still through the books. Nothing of nothing of note yet. So far, there's a book called Jonah and the uh, Cessation, or what? What's a whale called? The cetacean. Yes, Jonah and the Cessation. Uh, uh, old man and a boat. Uh, and some other basic titles. It looks like he was some kind of an author, but he never finished any of his books. Okay. Uh, with a 13, I go with the real. Okay. Now, can you see? Yes, now? I can I can see what's... I, I can perceive the material realm. DC 15 versus wisdom. Okay. But I still haven't turned around. Well, if you can see where it's at. Well, no, I no, I, I can see the material plane. I just go, I, like, basically, it's like everything just goes transparent. I, I haven't moved. Okay. So you're still in front of the stack of books. Correct. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and my initiative is six. There's my nat one. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, I will reappear and continue to uh, investigate. Fair enough. Uh, it will have to wait. Taryn, back to you guys. Uh, all right, initiative. Eighteen. You're up first. Oh God! Um, I think I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna do cure wounds at oh second level. Okay. On her. On her. Okay. Although you've been rolling so badly, I probably should do it on me and take this fucking thing out. But I'm gonna do it on her. Uh, this two d eight, right? What the hell is it? Cure wounds. Cure wounds. Two d eight plus four. Uh, 12. Great rolls. And then 
I guess I will go inspire to my cutting word. I'm going to inspire again. For a D8. Well, the yep. creature gets to attack first, and it is going after 19, her. Uh, that's a 14 plus 5. Yeah. It. <laughs> uh, yeah, 12 hit points. All gone. <laughs> yeah, that is 12 hit points. Yeah, wait, you did 12? Yeah, I did 12. Hey. See, it's a draw. It's a draw. It keeps her up longer, though, which was my point. Her attack. Hits. Yes. And with one fell swoop, she uh, cuts right through the creature's neck, and it vanishes. So, question: If I didn't do that, would she have gone down, or would she still be up? She'd be dead. Holy well, she'd, shit! She'd be down. Oh, so see, that was totally worth it. Back to the flail snail account. So oh, go ahead and real quick, Frank, if you want to read out, out loud what I just sent you. Uh, while on the ethereal plane, you can see and hear the plane you originated from, which is cast in shades of gray, and you can't see anything there more than 60 feet away. It'll be within that distance. Uh, you can only affect and be affected by other creatures on the ethereal plane. Creatures that aren't there can't perceive you or interact with you unless they have the ability to do so. This creature cannot, uh, but... You're looking at the pile of books. Right. But uh, that's just for your reference and that's gotcha. for, for the people at home because that is Very kind nice. of an obscure spell. Very nice. Uh, let's do initiative. Okay. Well, well no, we just, we just rolled initiative before we – I had won an initiative and it was about to attack. Okay. Are so you, I, I had just reappeared and I was continuing to investigate and you were about to act for it because it had rolled the natural one. Gotcha. Uh well, let's see what this fucking thing can do to you. Well, no, if I won initiative, then I guess I would have to roll to see if I disappeared again before it could... Correct. I rolled a 14, so I did disappear again. Well, wait a minute. You didn't do anything. I investigated for my turn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You think you and have then, found something. And then you rolled a natural one, so you would have gone after me after I had already disappeared again. Gotcha. So, okay, fair enough. New round of initiative. Okay. 11. Is a dirty 20. Okay, you're up. What did I find? You got to go back. I, I automatically reappear. Okay. Uh, it appears to be a diary of some kind. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll assume unless I say I reappear elsewhere that I, that I am reappearing where I, where I disappeared from. Gotcha. Uh, it appears as though you've also discovered the name of the individual. Uh, I would like to go ahead and collect that for reading later. Uh, what's, the, what's the dude's name? Anne Frank. I, I appreciate the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've, sub you've, you've successfully subverted my expectations. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you disappear? Uh, so it's an action essentially to collect that. We're saying that's going to take this turn. Okay. Uh, with a 10, I, Ooh, I don't know if it has to be an 11 or higher or a 10 or higher. Let me check. Uh, it's an 11, uh, 11 or higher. So I do not disappear. Okay. Uh, the flails whack you like uh, street constructionists. <laughs> Ouch. Those two definitely don't hit. Uh, it gets plus five. Uh, I have a 23, a dirty 20, and a 16. Uh, with and a shield, misses. all of those will fail. The 23? Uh, my AC is 19. Shield puts me up to a 24. Okay. Uh, it has attacked. New round. Okay. Six. Uh, that is also a six. Uh, um, you want to roll off for convenience? Sure. 18. Uh, that is also six. Plus two, dirty 20. Okay. Uh, it'll try and womp you again. No, no, 17, 18, and 21. Uh, rather than waste a shield spell, I'll eat the 21. 
It does. Now, are you looking at it? I still haven't actually had time really to turn. So shouldn't it get advantage? Well, can you use shield if you don't know it's behind you? I, I mean, I, I, I guess that would be your call. So I guess, yeah, I guess I would be looking at it. Okay. I, I, would have, I, I, would have, I would have turned sensing it to try to assault me. Give me a DC 15 versus wisdom. Uh, that's going to be, is it a save? Yes. Okay, that's going to be a 17. Okay, you are not stunned. Uh, because of the bright light, you will suffer disadvantage on all melee attacks. Uh, okay. We'll go with the one damage, and it's D6 plus three. Okay. Seven. Okay. As it whomps you in the shin. Okay. Uh, now you are up. Yes. Yes, I am. Um, ooh, could I have counterspelled the glow, or is that... Or, or, does it, 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 it does it not appear to be arcane. You can try that if you want. Yeah. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, Carol's laughing. She knows. <laughs> yeah. I think he um, does. I, I, I think he's getting the hint. Well, uh, I, I don't I don't see the light bulb yet. Blake. Well, I, I'm like, if he's I, never I, see, he's never seen one of these things. So I want the shell. I sort of know about him and I painted one. So I, I, I want that shell because that shell is probably I could probably use that shell. Uh, I just I'm like, if it's if, if I did, I get the impression. Did, did it feel did, did the blow I suffered feel sufficient to have caved in the fisherman's face? If it would have hit it five times, it probably would have. Okay, so it's not just this thing's pet that's trying to... It's not this thing's guard, this guy's guard dog. Probably not. Okay, so then I don't feel bad about killing it because Perpetua actually isn't trying to be evil. Uh, <laughs> You're funny, man. No, no, Perpetua doesn't try to be evil. She just tries to save her own skin, and it, sometimes it's nicer... And save it, other it, people's skins. Sometimes it's easier to be nicer than to be... But yeah, more flies with sugar. I get it. Save your own skin at the expense of mine. That's that's how it works. I've made you a local legend. You should be grateful. <laughs> you're a bar. You're a, <laughs> bards will write tales of your. Uh, will will throw coins to your. A bard. I'm not going to write my own tale. Well, maybe I will. But not uh, <laughs> can, can I? Oh, do I have? Uh, what do I? What do I have? <coughs> okay, uh, I am going to. Uh, even being blinded, I'm just going to try and slash at these things. You said it has maces for like heads. Yep. I want to try and slice them like like that's what I'm going for. But I only have daggers, so I have to do it in close close quarters. Okay. Oh God, perpetual! I wish you had a traveling companion. <laughs> I'm not terribly concerned because I'm still going to blink. That's for, true. I mean, for yeah, a, for, a, for a while, but I still have that up. Uh, that's a 19 hit. Yeah. Oh, easily. Okay. Uh, and then, well, it's a snail. I don't know. It's got a hardened shell. Well, uh, you're aiming for the heads. Not true. But I don't, it's, I'm, I'm assuming the AC for the whole thing. But uh, that's going to, so I connect with both of those as I double dagger it. And I'm going to do 2d4 plus 1 5. So I'm going to do. That's going to be six plus five, 11, uh, basically to one of these ice dogs. Sure. And do you blink? Uh, good question. Uh, with a 12, I do. Okay. Whew. New round initiative. 18. 15. So it, it goes before I reappear. Correct. So it is moving Looking, looking around, gurgling confusedly. What's it doing? Are you reappearing? I, I, I reappear, but yeah, my intention is to reappear because I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm really intent on, on, on this thing's probably harvestable and Perpetua loves her guts. Oh, D12 God. against me. You don't die. Well, well, no, no, Frank, it, or is it holding its action? No, it's doing something. I just want to see. I have three choices I can make. Well, you have to make your choice before I reappear. So it's not a, it's not an intelligent enough creature. I'm assuming that. 
Uh, you are incorrect. <laughs> oh, okay. So my, D, my D12 was a 10. Okay. Uh, and mine was a 7. So, okay. Uh, as you reappear, you see it going underneath some crap uh, on the right side of the building. Uh, the whole place is a jumbled mess. It is. I'm, I'm going to assume there's living quarters and a cooking area. Yeah, it's just one big room. It's a but studio there's apartment. crap everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's going towards the crap. It I, and I, 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 could, I could see it moving from the ethereal plane. Well, now see, if you can see it moving, you're still affected by the glare. And that was my concern earlier. But, well, yes. but, I, uh, but I passed that. So I'm at disadvantage. Yes. Correct. So right. you can see that it's moving in search of food, in search of friends, in search of something. Okay, so it's a, it's effectively hiding when I reappear or attempting Hi. to hide. Possibly. Is, is it is it burrowing under shit or is it still? Uh, the, the crap is just piled up, so it it doesn't have a burrow action. It, can, it, can I can I still try and whack off a couple of these things from from without having to? Like, can I get fucked? You can try. Uh, you need to be careful on where you land because it's going into a bunch of crap. Uh, you don't want to land awkwardly. Well, I'm effectively going to reappear where I was and use my movement. That's fair. Go ahead. So, so, but it, it's still visible. I'm not going to have to try and like risk like moving shit around to get to one. Correct. This round, it is visible as it goes to move crap around. Okay. And I'm still at disadvantage or is that for the whole combat essentially? One minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's, well, that's a net 20 and an 18. So that one will connect. But it Both hit? Well, well, no, that was for my disadvantage. You canceled out a 20. Gotcha. Uh, and that's a 17 and a 10 plus five. So that's a 15 and a... That does not hit. 23. Or hang on. No, it's plus... My daggers are plus eight. So it's an 18. Uh, that does hit. Yeah, so it's Both not a 15, hit, it's an 18. It's an 18 plus eight and a 10 plus eight. Uh... Can I, was I able to perceive which one I had been going after? The head? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's essentially, I'm, I'm, I'm going after the same one. Gotcha. Uh, and that's going to be four plus nine. Okay, one head is gone. Okay. And I disappear. Okay. New round. Uh, that's a 13. 16. Okay. Uh, from your ethereal perch, you notice that it goes into the crap. Okay. Uh, how deep does it appear to be? Like the, the pile of, it's like cloth, like it's his, it's his clothes band or something? Uh, clothing, boxes, fishing utensils, uh, life preserver that says the Titanic, uh, and, <laughs> and an old man's I mean, bottle. It's, it's, it's big enough to hold one of these creatures, two of these creatures. You can't really tell because you can't see where it, you, you know where it went in, but you don't know the volume of where it went in. Well, I was when I was there, I saw where it was headed. Like, how big was this pile of shit? Uh, three by three, maybe. Okay, and how big is this thing? One by one. Okay. Okay. So as I reappear, I'm going to... try and uncover only a head so I don't suffer disadvantage and attack it. Fair enough. Um... Or, or, or is it, or because I was, a, or because it's emitting it, I, like basically, I can cover this light, correct? That's my, that's my. The light is gone. Okay, so it's, it, it, yeah, okay. Give me performance. Performance or sleight of hand. Performance. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, you move it and you notice as you move a piece of debris, there's a hole in the floor. Which is you can how see the... sand straight down. So it's effectively gone back to the shoreline. It, I... This is it's a house on stilts. So it's correct. Okay. Uh 
I'm not going to pursue it. It's not worth that much. Perpetua's already just won the fucking fucking lottery with the fucking uh, poker game. I'll continue to peruse the shack. Okay. Folks, it's uh, 834. Uh, I should have anticipated it was going to go long, and it did. Uh, but uh, we, we're really trying to get back on track. So uh, we'll start with final thoughts. Carol, did we get back on track, or did we further muddy the waters? Neither. I, I, I wish I had got to town. Um, oh, yeah. I got, I got to my second month. She didn't, did she? No. Uh, after the battle, she will get to her second month. Yeah. So how, you know, I guess my thought is, how are we resolving this? <laughs> Am I, hey, I'm free tomorrow night, <laughs> but then you already have two other people. No, I'm, I may have been over generous in saying three months. Maybe it should have just been one month or two in order to get there. So, uh, so I'll have to mull it over how I handled it with you two to see if I can fix it. Can, I get, can it be said that we get there unless um, Cola does something to interfere? That is certainly an option. What I want to do is I want to run the other two tomorrow and yeah. see see how they do because I don't think they're going to the same place you are. My oh. suggestion for the alternative would be run just one-on-ones to round out the rest of the month for like throughout the rest of the week or, or whenever you whenever you have the time. Like a, uh, off camera? Well, or, or do you want to do say in two weeks uh, when it's campaign do the same thing uh, only with everybody on board. Well, I think I think just the one on one they actually get through a a a, a storyline. Okay. I wouldn't mind doing something off camera either. Yeah, but, I'm fine with that too. And I also like telling the complete story to the people who are watching. So that is I think that we should be responsible for writing up what happened. Or just recording the vocals. Well that's fine. Uh, Blake, final thoughts. What would have happened if I kicked the shit out of the little lady? She would have kicked the shit out of me. <laughs> the cats would have ate you. Yeah, those cats would have ate your ass. I would, I, I would, my initial reaction would have been, I, I almost wanted to try and dominate one to, as, as a show of, hey, you know, I have some talents too. Not, not as a show of intimidation, but as a show of, you know, tell me your secrets, little old lady. Mm. Was there something to her? Was there what? Was there something? Was there something? I mean, obviously, there's something more that she was not just a little lady, but yeah. What? What was she? Was something. What was her deal? Was she was just a little old lady in a wagon with two Shetland oh, ponies no, no, and two cats that turned into cougars. Was she? Was she? A, was she a? Was she a, a crone or a? a, a yeah, hag? Was she a hag? Uh -huh. <laughs> so each one of you have had a non-combat encounter each one of you have had a combat encounter she hasn't had her non-combat encounter anyways her non-combat encounter is cola okay yeah yep. that was cola. that was written down folks uh go ahead oh no i was gonna say that's something i that i would have actually i would have actually confronted her you said she was from my hometown. There is no way she doesn't know. She, she, there's no way that she could possibly not know what my she, deal is there. She's from that area. You said she was from, from Fulton, which is the actual town. Ful, Ful, Fulton's a big city. Yeah. I Tell me what else happened in Boston tonight, Carol. <laughs> folks, uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube channel. If you want to buy our crap, it's down below. Tomorrow night, uh, we're bringing in Kyle and Ernest. Uh, Chris cannot be with us this week. And then Tuesday, Between the Rolls. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, thanks for your patience with Mother Nature. Uh, I, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Everybody wave. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, producer, are you there? There you go.